Okay. Weapons from the void situation. But I don't know where to look for this. There's the shrink ray I got, the prismatic hammer. There's still the mandibular rearranger clue to the map. I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Okay. I guess we'll trade. Let's trade. UDL, corporate data UDL. The screen is cracked and most of the keys are non-functional. Fused together from plasma damage. All but a few entries are unreadable. Of those remaining, only snippets can be viewed. Entry 1. Corporal Sober, you are reassigned effective immediately. Let's report to the safety commander Sanders by 1600. Transport provided on a corporate. Okay, perfect crowd. And sublight data presented by the sublight contractor. This data pack contains a personal journal of Mercer Cole. A low level sublight subcontractor. Most entries pertain to slagging his teammates or complaining about shit for pay contract. The last entry reads, can't believe you found FN Alavite gas in a hibernated rizzo lab out on the dust back. La Vite? Or Le Vite, whatever it's spelled, it's worth a shit ton. Who the F used that to make candy? Looks like old Gertie's hunch is gonna prove out, not that I'll ever tell her so. The way she goes prime on the slightest hint of criticism. Too much product for us to transport. Gonna need a ship to smuggle this off world. Probably need Leela Hagen to send a team. No way Miss Malin can handle this job out of Fallbrook. Been working on Remy, applying him to the Pale Kale Ale he likes. Figure if I get him since he uh, get him nice and sloshed, he'll tell me the password into that place. Did some exploring while he and Gertie were testing the alloy gas. Found an old elevator shaft. A lab coat modded into a hidey spot for some identified weapon. Things probably worth enough to make me a right top runger after I go back for it. Oh, Mercer is getting himself his to Byzantium. You can bet on it. Can't let Remy or Gertie find out about it. Gertie's go full burn. Okay. What can I sell to you, my friend? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Search for clues. Acquire science weapon on Mara. Acquire science weapon in the abandoned lab. A UD of the Defend liberated from a corporate patrol mentions a research facility in the wilderness. Search the facility to see if it contains a science weapon. You acquired a data pad and an unfortunate sublet contractor. <laughs> and with hired to scout an abandoned laboratory mentions seeing a powerful weapon. Location of the lab. It mentions that Lilia Hagen will send a team. What direction? Okay, let's talk to her. Let's talk to Hagen. Wanna make a run with me to Stella Bay? Bosley told me to take the night off. This is a strange family. The ones that always smell like raw meat and got splotches of blood on them? Yep. How does thing? Speaking to my left ear, will you? Right one's deaf. Well? That's it. Sure. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider okay. of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. There's one for your beloved eloping with your sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child. We try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. In the unlikely event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and reputation. Usually character actors, or corporate execs with menacing stares. One thing's for sure, you won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon.
They come. Alright. Please, you don't have to do this. Just let us down from here. The humidity is... Look, I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. It's very fashionable, I swear. Get her, girl. Mow him down. <laughs> I am a storm. Ah! I'll take your confession now. Yes, sir. Oh, he's already dead. Boy, I unlock this. Interesting. Okay. Huh, that could poop down there. Right, let's go down back here. Oh, 
uh, we're not calling the project sticky bits, but he refuses to refer to it as anything else. It doesn't even make sense. The glue particles are nearly frictionless. <coughs> Powell and Chastity have started to show interest in the project, which should be good. But their trials seem to involve covering various hard-to-reach surfaces in Gloop and launching expensive equipment at them. I'm going to have a talk with them. Someone filled my underwear drawer with Gloop. <laughs> I have theories. <laughs> Chastity used the Gloop gun in an office paintball game yesterday. She said it was a mistake, but this time, it's the third time she's made the same mistake. But she managed to cover the door panel with stuff. Damn things been going haywire ever since. Do you know how hard it is to clean Gloop? Chastity doesn't. Because when I pull out the latex and solvent, she remembers she's got actual work to do. From now on, I'm locking the damn gun up. Protect the chairman. Honor. Up. Holy crap, nice. Heck. so much. Dodging don't need it. Dialogue persuade. Call that. No perks. Alright, let's look at the gloop gun. Heavy weapons damage. 30 energy. The development of this weapon was halted when one of the scientists working on it was killed by marauders. In the team realized that no one understood her portion of the work, how the gloop is produced, how it counteracts gravity. Now it creates and conducts electricity to the known. Interesting. Maybe get that one to the doctor. Right, 
Alright, let's go there. Crap. Hey, Max, what does your religion say happens to us after we die? The body returns to the universe from whence it came. I'm sure you've seen a corpse in the various stages of decay. Why do we exist in the first place, then? What the hell's the point? Our lives contribute to the betterment of the human race. Everyone has a part to play for the greater advancement. I ain't got a part. Life ain't a damn cereal. You helped people survive the monarch evacuation, did you not? Perhaps one of them will go on to unlock godhood for the human race. Well, if they do, I hope they remember who pulled them from the jaws of raptodons. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? I need you to shut off your block me. I'm trying my own path. G oh. I suppose that means you aren't here for the Saltuna. Nope. <laughs> it could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Hmm. If you're here, if you're free of other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Sounds like a personal problem. Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks, thanks to the so-called hazard clause. Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Something to be said for perseverance. I endeavor to persevere myself. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. <laughs> 
you're tired of the scrap. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. I don't know what intellectualism means, but if someone's willing to build us a few practical things around here, I ain't gonna judge them on account of their beliefs. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting with the Bolt 52, we won't need to advertise anymore. We can stop our transmissions altogether. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. An ordinance, of course. We do things in a civilized fashion here, not like Graham's iconoclasts. Hey now, they may not shower as much as you do, but they've got their own sort of civil. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you just crawled out from under a rock. And this one is located in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and rap. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some... dangerous information. What can I do? You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. Praise the architect for that. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Then it's good that I... I've asked myself the same thing many times especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. I see. Do you mean you initiate your own removal from Not the board? Not intentionally, <coughs> though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. I see. Oh, I'll be right back.
Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were... mixed. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave them a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. That seems, but not MSI, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. And how did that work out? Most regard Monarch as a lost cause. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. Ah, so you've heard about our prior... acquaintance. As far as I'm concerned, the less said about Graham, the better. Graham seemed like a reasonable man years ago. Now, we both agreed that MSI's treatment of its workers was untenable. I thought reforms would be enough. I didn't realize you wanted to abolish the corporate system entirely. Reforms are humane, but they're also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. No, they laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2, along with everyone else. In a manner of speaking, many of us stayed behind in an act of quiet but firm defiance. As the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. But we weren't trying to. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Then why don't you just leave the board? <clears throat> why do you want to go back on the board, bruh? To find other forms and systems. It's just your limited vision. You just see them as the only option. Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. That could change. Without the board, chaos would overtake the system. Working within the established order isn't a principle to snub one's nose at, Captain. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. I treated you pretty roughly, is it worth going back to that? Hmm? I fear the MSI citizens who've been dissolved into Raptodon Cud would disagree with you. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Leverage. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes. It'll be easier to explain once we have the bolt fit. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. What's the hazard? Straight bullshit is what it is. 
a fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. A necessary evil for the greater good of society. That's exactly how the board describes it. Yes, making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. Well, technically he may have suggested it, but he certainly wasn't doing the paperwork himself. He was about to let him control Devil Speak. That was the deal. Technically he does. What exactly are you accusing me of? Can't do much with the station with the airways jammed. Until we're back on the board, I need to run those advertisements. If there's no business on Monarch, then we all starve. Hiram included. <laughs> what can I do for you? Interesting. Worst, worst. <laughs> Fine morning. This planet even has life is amazing in and of itself. Stella Bay, bruh. Don't energy I use. Geothermal. Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable type. Anyway. Then it What can I do? Okay. Go here. Let's go kill these fools. All right.
Here they come. Returning fire. That's the last. <laughs> Incoming, Captain! Guess not. Mm. <coughs> oh, here it is. Oh, hello, hello. I hear boots out there. Wait, can rats wear boots? Uh, I don't need to figure that out, Jay. Who are you? showed up, then wrapped it on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here and um now the door's locked. Little help? Pain the bull fifty two terminals in the building up any time. Answer a few things for me. Sure. Who are you? Huxley. I'm an iconoclast runner. The iconoclast runner. Fastest we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm. Uh, I'm. Phew, sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? Tell me about the iconoclast. Oh, that'd be my people. Graham and Zora and Milton and my buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was, but I mean, okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, all right. Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. Wait, really? I'm serious. That's disgusting. Where they're being? Oh, uh. I'm looking for a bolt 52 any line around. 
When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. I see. Get me out! What do you mean? Line to the right, but okay, let's hand it hand to turn it upward and down. Wait, upward? Oh, my eternal soul, it worked! Oh my god. Ah, phew. Thank you so much. Oh, come on, Hawk. Seriously. In there, and I think I'm quite lightheaded and you I didn't know how to open a basic die. door. That's now why you're I'm stuck. Out here. And I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind give me an escort back home? I'm Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Oh boy. Normally when you help someone, they do something for the trouble. You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Good luck. Thanks a lot, Miss. Oh, good lord, Huxley. Anandi. Be careful with your new friends in Amber. Anyway? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Yes, finally the board will get their comeuppance. Spare me the details and just tell me what's next. Paperweight. Don't be ridiculous. What Mr. Nandi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. Or we will, with your help. Help us with this final matter and we won't need to broadcast anymore. You have my word. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and... Mr. Nandi may be correct. If the masses learn that the board disregards their own ordinances, It'd give rise to dissent. MSI could use this information to their advantage. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Sanjay, you fly dog. Do you really think so? No. I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to... If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Close enough. Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. I, I think I already know where it might be. <laughs> I knew you were the right person. Alright, baby.
it's not the best choice, it's Baser's choice. Baser's choice. You seen Arthur today? Speaking to my left ear, will you? Well, Sandra said she's not under a corporation operating secret tomorrow. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Right. And I'll... Alright, what do you know? I'd have been here, baby. Valdez just reporting in to let you know that the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in, but this place smells awful. The only local we've had to make contact with is the sublight boss in Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm pretty sure she's gouging us, and we're all getting sick of expired cyst bits. Fenders is supposed to smell awful, that's the point. I don't care what sublight is charging as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If the word gets out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once you've got that, you and the rest of the lab rise can come to Byzantium and live in on cacao ribs for all I care. And come up with a better name for the prize, something flashy and catchy, but that the rest of the management will take seriously. Maybe we'll watch her little words. Danger bear. Sick of my boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill out parts of the report. Foul Death wants a better title. See how she likes JP. End of the list. Thunderdog X. X Mayhem. Fuck you, Foul Death. <laughs> Lord, my ways. Gun Parade. Looks like they were ambushed. We ought to be quick about this. The trail of 
blow these away from the auto loader. Stay back. Arthur. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? I got moved. Forget about that. What are you doing in this cave? Hiding from the marauders that hit us. Now your turn. Let me take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. What's with all the traps? A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. I don't know what happened here. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot Klein out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or, or the whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Yeah, looks like you turned out well. Marauders were waiting for us. They blew the bridge and took off with the ship. Marauders at the facility of the West Sounds Church. right. If you got the sand to go after him. I'm sure Catherine... Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook, just as soon as I've caught my breath. I see. Get back to Mr. Sanja. Dissident Hunter. Plasma Cutter. Surprised they don't have weapons like this in Star Trek. The Federation could use them. The Batlets. My boy Sandra. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway? I do for a found the cartridge. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the Reformation. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Let's 
talking about last night. I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. Sounds orderly. Indeed. Ev the workings of the universe take time to prevail. But sometimes you can reach the intended destination faster if you apply a little force. Never fear. I plan on wording our forms very strongly. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Thank you. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yep, I, they're no longer trying to meaning at the data ready. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it... My... Does it matter? Hmm, is that so? Cost you. Oh, I believe it will. But the price I pay... I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver, so I can input the needed adjust. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh, oh, apologies. You meant, right, yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Um, tell me how to fix it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Under this is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. 
It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one. We're almost done. Terrific. I'll be here. Wait. Devil's Peak Relay, baby. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Happily, I won't bother you again. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you do. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. Thank you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Oh. Don't tell me that's my ship. Black holes! Did you see that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew. But I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? <laughs> Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Oh, God. Ah, it's a reunion. Group hug. Really should have killed you all. Without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. <laughs> the truth brings us together once That's more. That's kind of hilarious. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Truly. You're acting like children. Power for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure... Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out. Okay. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm... Alright, jumpstart the... Good God. Speak with Phineas. Alright, we'll do that next time.